Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in today's session is problems on parallel lines cut by transversal. Okay, first let us see problems on identifying angles formed by parallel lines and transversal. In today's video, we are going to discuss the various techniques and the formulas and the facts that we are going to apply while solving the unknown angles. Here is your example number 1. In the given figure, line L is parallel to line M and one of the angle is given. Angle C is 110. We are supposed to find the measures of the remaining angles ABD, a, EFGH. We know all the types of angles in a parallel line cut by a transversal. For more details on parallel lines cut by a transversal, you can refer our previous video. Given information is, let us find the corresponding angle for C. For C, G is in the same position for line M. So angle C and G are corresponding angles. We know the property of corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are always equal. So here angle C is 110 degrees. Therefore angle G will also be equal to 110 degrees. Same way we can find alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles and supplementary angles one by one. Now let me check whether I have any alternate interior angles in the figure. Angle C and angle E. Imagine a Z here. The angles here will be considered as alternate interior angles. So angle C is equal to angle E. Alternate interior angles are equal, so you can equate E with angle C. So E is also 110 degrees. Angle E is nothing but, what is the relationship between angle E and A? Both are corresponding angles, am I right? A, please check the position of angle A and E. They are in the same position for the lines L and M. So they are corresponding angles. The property of corresponding angle says both are congruent. Congruent means equal. So angle E is equal to angle A, which is nothing but 110 degrees. First we are calculating the angles which needs no calculation. We can just equate using the property congruency and then we'll go for calculation. So, so far we got angle C, angle G, angle E, angle A equal to 110. Now please compare A and B. These two are the angles on a straight line and these two form a linear pair angles. We know that the linear pair angles are supplementary. What is mean by supplementary? If the angles add up to give 180 degrees, then we say that the angles are supplementary. Some of the angles would be equal to 180. Already we have found angle A which is equal to 110. You can substitute this in this equation and solve for B algebraically. Replace angle A by 110. Angle B is nothing but 180 minus 110 by subtracting 110 from both these sides. Therefore, angle B equal to 70 degree. Are you clear till this step? So we have got 5 of the angles. Now let us check the corresponding angle for B. For B, F is the corresponding angle. Angle B would be equal to angle F because these two are corresponding. Corresponding angles are nothing but they are congruent. Congruent means equal. Same way, angle F is equal to angle D because these two are alternate interior angles. In the previous set, we saw alternate exterior angle. Here we are seeing alternate interior angles. Angle D and angle H are corresponding angles. So obviously angle H will be equal to angle D where D is equal to 70 degree. Therefore angle H is also equal to 70 degrees. We have found all the missing angles in the figure. Hope you are clear with the solution. All you need to do is find the relationship between the other angles and state what type of relation they share. And then you, using the property of that relationship, you can say whether they are equal or you need to do any calculation. This uh, topic is going to be very simple for you. So far we saw an example in identifying the missing angles. Let me take one example in which you have to state which of the lines are parallel and you also have to state the reason for that. So here is your example. Here is an example. Now compare these two parallel lines D and B. Look at the angles. In one we have 75 and this is 100. So there is no relationship between these two. Even if you add you will not, you will not get 180. So let us compare these two angles. I am going to highlight the sides. Do you see a Z I have drawn? 
E is E and C two angles are there. AC is parallel to DE. So AC is parallel to DE because the alternate interior angles are equal. This sign is used to denote the word parallel. This is the symbolic representation of the word parallel. Hope you are clear with this example. Okay, let me take one example where there is no parallel line. Okay, here is the example. Please look at this example. Please consider these two angles because these two angles are only given in this example. Compare these two. These two, the positions are corresponding angles. Am I right? What is the property of corresponding angles? Corresponding angles must be congruent. It means corresponding angles are equal. But here, please notice that these two angles are not equal. One is 65 and one is 75. So you can say that the line AC is not parallel to DE. Does this make sense to you? That's it for this example. So far, we discussed two types of examples. One is reasoning stating and one is identifying the missing angles. Now let me take one example where you are, you'll be able to frame two equations and solve for the unknown, unknown variables. Let me write the example on the board. Here is the next example. The lines P and Q are parallel and L is a transversal line. Find the values of X and Y. You just have to find the unknown values of X and Y. Please note that we are given with three angles. Okay, what is the relationship between 6x plus y and x plus 5y? They are in the same position for the two lines. So it means these two are corresponding angles. We know the fact corresponding angles are equal. We have set these two angles equal because the relationship between these two angles are corresponding angles. Now let us simplify this equation. Shift all x to one side of the equation and shift all y's to other side of the equation. By subtracting x from both these sides and y from both these sides, I am getting divide both these sides by 5. Now we have got an equation relating x and y in terms of x. Now please look at these two angles. What is the relationship between 4x and 6x plus y? These two are the two angles on a straight line. These two are linear angles. Am I right? Linear angles are supplementary. It means if you add these two angles, it should add up to give 180 degrees. 4x plus 6x plus y. Supplementary means total would be equal to 180 degrees. Now let me combine the like terms. 4 plus 6 is 10. So 10x plus y equal to 180. Now let us use this equation here. Replace x by 4y over 5. Cancel out 5. 5 goes 2 times. 4 times 2 is 8y. 8y plus y will give you 9y. Now divide both these sides by 9. So you can isolate y on one side of the equation and get the value for y. 9 goes 20 times in 180. So the value for y equal to 20. Now using this we can find the x value. You can just back substitute this y value in the equation 1 this equation. Replace y by 20. 5 goes 4 times. 4 times 4 will be equal to 16. We got the unknown values x and y. x is equal to 16 and y equal to 20. We were just using two concepts. Corresponding angles are equal and linear angles are supplementary. Corresponding angles means you just you have to equate the two angles and when it comes with linear angles you just have to add those angles and set that equal to 180 degrees. Hope you are clear with this example. So we were discussing finding the missing angle and stating and proving the reason for parallel and the third one is finding the unknown variable. Now we can discuss one example where you have to prove two lines of parallel. Here is the next example in the given figure angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Using this clue you have to prove the lines L and M are parallel. Okay, a transversal intersects two parallel lines on two distinct points, here and here. Am I right? These are the two distinct points. It is given that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Now let's start the proof. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2, given. We can say that angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical opposite angles. They share the common point and they share the common ray. So it means they are vertically opposite. Vertically opposite angles means they should be equal. This is the property of vertically opposite angles. 
so angle 1 will be equal to angle 3 we have two equations equation 1 and equation 2 please note that the left hand side of both the equations are same angle 1 and angle 2 so you can you equate the right hand side of the both the equation so angle 3 will be equal to angle 2 am I right so from the above two equations it is clear that angle 2 is equal to angle angle 3 is equal to angle 2 the relationship between angle 2 and 3 is corresponding angle since the corresponding angles are equal you can say that the lines L and M are parallel since the corresponding angles are equal you can say that the line L and M are parallel that's it for this example you may be also asked to prove two lines are parallel two pairs I mean by changing the figure the concept is same but you have to take few more steps to prove that the other two lines are also parallel the concept will be repeated so no worries even if you get a tricky problem if you solve if you get the loop you can easily to move towards the proof similarly like the same example on the board you will be asked to find the unknown variable you'll be given that two lines are parallel under this condition you have to find two variables like x and y that will also be very easy it will be more or less a combined version of this example and the previous one Hope you are clear with this concept. See you in the next video. Have a great time ahead.